squat swinging guys, it's kind of the winger here. I'm going to do another one of swinging on my wolf at home. I haven't done one of these in a while. And for some of you new guys who, who were not subscribed to me or were watching my vids when I did these, I used to do these as like demonstrations and stuff and uh, I've and um, the way I've done it is I have got given this one by Andy Pollock who's the tower captain at St James in Bowling Furness where I ring uh, to practice tying the knot I, and I've had it ever since I, I was a learner ringer and I've put tied this little bag with heavy mushroom rods and things or whatever I've got in it, in it on two old shoes with a golf ball and an ivory ball full of water and a Mountain Dew ball full of water to make it heavy so if you see I could just basically just pull it down and then it'll go right down but if you see if I pull it gently See, it's not moving at all. You have to really pull like this. So I'm going to demonstrate how you ring. So first is with the Sally where you pull it like that. And then it goes up like that. And when your arms rise like that, you pull it and then you catch the Sally. And, and you can learn that by becoming a winger plus I am going to do some ringing up, ringing down and a lot of stuff for years. So anyways the way how you ring up is you get loads of coils like this you do it like this when you do when you pull it like this make sure you check it like that I'm doing now so you can make the bell chime this isn't connected to a bell i'm going to show you how i do my ringing from home videos at, before i end the vid and you let rope out each time the rope rises Um, when it's a bit different on this one but now about at this time you will start to catch the rope like that and then you see you don't usually have a coil like that but for this rope, if you see, you're supposed to have the tail end like that, but with it like that, my rope's a bit long because it was off the tether before it was with sword at barrel. So for mine, I have to have it like this and do it like that. So then you pull it and then after you've pulled it, you do this. Let your arm rise and then pull it down and catch. And there's some more tips as well. If you accidentally miss it and it goes like that, don't try to grab it like... Or it could wrap around your arm like that and... When it goes up like that, it can really hurt you. It's, that's happened to me once when I was a learner ringer. Plus you do a lot of awesome stuff with ringing and you can speed up, you can you can do it like that and pull less like that or you could just bring, take a bit of throw in like that. So I'm going to teach how to ring down so you have it normally like this. You pull it like that and grab the rope like that. 
Do this with your hands like that to take rope in. And you keep on doing it each time. And you keep on doing it like this. And um, when you have a lot of rope and it starts to go fluffy like it's doing now, um, I'll just wait till it gets to where I had the coil for it. You do it like this. Let your hands go apart like that and then bring them together. Then stop catching the rope and keep doing this. And you you take another coil in at that bit. And then when you're there you just check it like the start of you know, but keep it at that point and keep checking and then chime three times at the bottom when it's ringing down in PO you usually say after three missing catching rounds then you do one two miss it and then grab it like that so yeah that's an awesome tips plus how show how I do my ringing from home but if you see I use my loft door with a little bar like that and with the rope right here if you see I put it like that and then when I pull the sally goes like that and then it comes and that's how I do them so if you enjoy please subscribe for future content until next time ring out